Well, Fred, as soon as you saw the link to Nurture 360, I think it might have been on LinkedIn or from Instagram, you, mate, you couldn't get to me quick enough. So, so tell me why. So there's a couple reasons why and what attracted me to Nurture 360. One of the main reasons was the ability to connect with like-minded individuals. And it was a great way and a great platform to meet and greet some, so many people, amazing people, and also the participants. So, um, and your background with the football and your association with my twin brother, Tony, and the fact that you've been around for a long time uh, gives you instant credibility. So I wanted to know more. Now, mate, I know you work a lot with sort of the potential attendees that we're, we're targeting. What do you see? Why should they go as well? So what I see quite often is there's this misconnection with the mind and the body. So quite often a lot of the attendees, they forget about their body. And I'm of the belief if you don't look after your body for the first 50 years, it's not going to look after you for the next 50. So I see it as a holistic approach with the mind, the body and the whole thing all together. And also, you're absolutely right, I think we've got to get away from this notion of leadership here and wellness here. Mm. To be a great leader, you have to connect the two. And, and, and being an attendee last year before we bought into it, that was the thing that really hit me. A great leader, I think you touched on it before a bit, is uh, a quote I heard was, my health will determine the health of my business. So we've got to connect the two. And I'm sure you see it in the day-to-day -day dealings with the, the executives that you work with, yes. that they're potentially quite technically good, but that inability to connect from an overall wellness point of view, the emotional intelligence point of view, that must be a big part of why you want to attend as well. Definitely, and the problem is they forget about themselves and they put their, either their career ahead of themselves and they put their family which ahead of themselves, which they can, but we've kind of got to get it in synchronicity, as you say, so we've got to get the two parts working together. And what I see is when I do train business people and business owners, it become, there's a momentum and there's this invisible force of energy through health and fitness that connects them to the workplace so they're more efficient, they're thinking better and they're feeling better. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I mean, I think one of the things that, that I liked about it as well is taking them out of the environment as well, taking them out of the workplace. And you do that on a daily basis, yeah. just take them away from the office. Take yes. them, but the ability to take them out of their workplace onto a beautiful island, how significant is that? Oh my God, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And that's just nurturing. But the word nurture, Nurture 360 is so true in that. So they're nurturing themselves and they're giving them, and that's why I want to do it. I actually also want to nurture myself because I want the ability to work on my business, not always in my business. I also want to connect with like-minded individuals and this invisible force of energy. I want to be part of it. So that's what, like, I'm all in. That's what attracted me to it. Yeah, and it's a really good point because I think part of when you contacted me was not only the, the fact that you've got great clients and, and that they're going to benefit, but yourself personally. Correct. And I think that's a really good point. For you as a business owner, what are you looking to get out of it? So one of the main keys is I want to connect with people and I want to find this is a good platform for me and a good data for me to collect from people and work out what's their frustrations when it comes to health and fitness. Are they time poor that they can't exercise? And if so, I want to collect that information and provide solutions. So the fact that I just want to learn and grow from this experience, like anything in life, the more you put in and the more you participate, and as I said, this invisible force of energy, which is what attracted to me it, is, is enabling me to make, make sure I'm part of this, this whole venture. So. Yeah, exactly. And also, I guess, there's some practical things that you hope to gain as well with some of the speakers. What, what are your challenges specifically in your business as well? So I think some of the challenges I face in my business as a business owner is um, people want me all the time and they want me to train them. So I have to entrust people when they come and see me that I've got a great team of trainers that can train. So the delegation process, um, time management. So we often will get on track with something and we'll be really, really excited. And then when we come home, we forget about it. So the fact that you can plan ahead so you can have short, medium and long-term goals. So I want to come out with a detailed plan so I can then, as I said, just grow and propel myself. Yeah, it's good.